This is the first thing that I write about in Music Business Tactics, which is a little book, but it took me decades of professional experience to be able to write it. Now, there's really two questions here. Should you be a musician, and should you be a professional musician? The answer to the first question is a no-brainer. Absolutely yes. The study of any art form benefits the individual and society, and it's hard to imagine many things that impact human existence as much as music does. Music soothes babies and savage beasts. It proclaims victory, and it lessens the sting of defeat. It makes us laugh. It makes us cry. It makes us get up and dance, and it makes us sit down and relax. The study of music stimulates independent and creative thinking, and it makes you smarter. So there's really no downside to being a musician, except maybe the knowledge that you'll never be as good as you hope to be. I tell my students that you're going to go to your grave dissatisfied, but that dissatisfaction is what keeps us growing throughout our whole lives, even if we sometimes ride a fine line. The real question, then, is whether to subject something that you love to the pressures of commerce. You could do something else for a living and keep music as a serious hobby. And the advantage to that is that your artistic success is not tied to your financial success. Now, for me, that wouldn't have worked because the financial imperative gave me the impetus to keep trying to get better. When putting food on the table depends on you practicing the trumpet, well, that's a powerful motivator. Confucius said, choose a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. While Jerry Seinfeld said that in show business, when you're not working, it's a bad thing, just the opposite of normal life. Now, these things are absolutely true for a musician. I mean, when we go to work, we play. Although, conversely, when we have a gig, we say we're working. In any case, there's always a price to pay in the service of making a living. Even if talent and hard work bring you to a place where music can support you, there will be gigs that you don't love, and there will be times without gigs. Now, that can weigh heavily on your emotional self-assessment. When your own feeling of self-worth is tied not only to your ability as a musician, but also to the income you derive from it, while well, maintaining a positive attitude is difficult. And when that starts to go, it can be a downward spiral. Now, it is not my intention to convince you not to be a musician. That would be pretty hypocritical on my part. But if you're going to pursue an artistic career, you need to be single-minded in your devotion to it. That's what's going to get you past the bad times and the naysayers. In Music Business Tactics, I refer a lot to my dad, Howie, as a mentor and a role model. Now, Howie was really nothing like a musician. He was a dentist, pragmatic, risk-averse, and conservative when it came to being prudent with money. In the midst of my playing career, which was going pretty well at the time, I said to him once that I was surprised that he didn't voice greater concerns about my career path when I was a teenager. His answer was, I didn't think it would make any difference. And he was right. Now, I'd been asked at various times when or why did I decide to become a musician, and I don't really have an answer to that except to say that when I was growing up, it was the thing that I was best at and most interested in. By the time I got to high school, the question wasn't even on my radar. It was obvious to me, and evidently my dad, that music was the thing that I was going to do. Now, this is not to say that you can ignore the realities of the music business. It's a highly competitive field and getting more so all the time, with rapidly changing technology that makes the future even more unknown than it's always been for an artist. I have this conversation every year with concerned parents of prospective university students, and I empathize. I'm a parent, too, and we worry about what life will be like for our kids. I don't have any promising statistics to offer on the job prospects for jazz musicians, and really, it's quite the opposite. What I believe, though, is that if kids have a positive direction in life, it's best to let them pursue it. There's no guarantee that a music degree will lead to a successful career as a musician. I'm right up front with our entering class that not all of them will make their living as a performer. But I know that the study of music will help them develop critical thinking and interpersonal skills that will serve them well for the rest of their life, regardless of where life takes them. I've seen a number of music students go on to med school or law school, and in fact, there are studies that show that trained musicians do well in those fields. A little while ago, I received an email from an alumnus who said, I consider my musical studies to be not just relevant to my career in law, but essential to it. And then finally, I tell fretting moms and dads that when they meet some of the other music students, they'll see that their offspring is among a motivated and aspirational group of friends. At this stage of life, or maybe any stage of life, that's enough to make you feel that you're on the right track. So I guess my bottom line answer to the question is, you should be a musician if you can't imagine being anything else.